video if you are new here my name is Lisa thank you so much for stopping by now today y'all I am going to be joining a group of people on here for the hop to it spring and Easter collab now my decor I'm gonna say is more Eastery now I know I'm a little bit late for this video y'all but if you watched my last video then you know I had a new little grandbaby and he is running the show around here <laughs> so I have been just trying to cuddle him and enjoy him and help my daughter out uh, when she needs my help when she wants my help y'all know these new mothers these days they know everything and we know nothing but anywho, <laughs> today we are back with this video, y'all. I'm going to be sharing some of the spaces that I decorated around here. Now, I did not do a whole lot, but you guys, if you've been with me for a while, then you are familiar with some of the areas that I decorate. And yeah, I'm just going to be sharing it. I tried to keep it very light, very airy. I tried to bring in... Some lighter colors you know after Christmas and um, now I did not decorate for St. Patrick's Day I wanted to but you know my daughter had just had the baby and everything and I just did not get around to it so uh, you know with that being said y'all <laughs> I tried to keep it cheery and springy fresh and all of that stuff now I want to say a big huge thank you to you all for supporting if you clicked on this video if you're watching this video if you are still subscribed to my channel if you left a comment on the last video thank you thank you thank you guys so much and speaking of comments it is time for a shout out thank you so much Clark for your wonderful comment I appreciate that so so much now you guys without further ado we are going to just hop into this video <laughs> Starting out in my living room, y'all, this entryway table is one of my favorite pieces to decorate. Y'all know how much I love this table. I just used some of the things that I had on here for, was it? <laughs> for my last display. <laughs> and then I added in my bunnies that I picked up from Pottery Born last year. The little picture in the cloche, y'all, is like a vintage type of postcard. And I just had that printed out at Walmart. It was only 29 cent. I added it under the cloche and called it a day. Moving on into the hallway, I picked up that little tapestry from Target. The bunny was from Target years ago or maybe last year. And I just kept, you know, the same remaining things that I had in my little, um, baker's rack right here and then we are going to move on into the living room y'all you guys might see a new piece in there i couldn't help it y'all i couldn't resist i love it so so much <laughs> and i couldn't help but to get that little shelf that you guys i know you guys have seen this on Instagram all over the place but I just loved it and I thought it was just so perfect for my small little collection of advertising jars y'all <laughs> All of the bunny prints, y'all, I downloaded from Etsy and then I had them printed out in various sizes from Walmart. And I think the total cost was no more than four or five dollars, y'all. So that's an easy way if you want prints, but you don't want to spend a whole lot. 
You can always download them from Etsy and then have them printed out at your favorite uh, photo center. sharing with y'all this mug rack that I picked up off of decor steels and I wanted to share it with you all today to show you that this mug rack is really cute but it is not for radon mugs because you have to put your cup on here uh, upside down not through the little uh, handle so therefore when you put a radon mug on the coffee rack it's going to be upside down now if you have anything else you want to display on here it's fine but it's not for radon mugs y'all <laughs>
y'all that is going to be it for today's video i hope y'all enjoyed seeing what i did around these parts for the spring and easter season i hope you guys have enjoyed the hop to it easter and spring tour which brings me to what i am about to say i totally forgot to let you guys know <laughs> that this tour was being hosted by Sherelle from Crafty Girl Down South and Daniel from Second Chance Love. And there are a few of us who are going to be doing a giveaway, myself included. Now, if you guys saw an egg that is totally different from all the other eggs that I have going on in this space that I have showed y'all, then please see leave a little comment in the comment section saying that you got it now the egg is supposed to be a golden egg i didn't get any golden eggs y'all but i got some eggs that have some little golden tones in it so if you guys spotted that egg then like i said leave a comment down in that comment section saying that you got it and i am going to be sending you out a prize now i'm going to pick a winner in about two to three days after this video goes up i will let you guys know who that winner is y'all know how i do it and uh, i'm not going to tell you what i'm going to be sending y'all it's going to be a surprise it's going to be a good surprise at least i hope it's going to be a good surprise <laughs> Anywho, y'all, thank you guys so much for stopping by. As always, I hope you're having a great day and a great week whenever you are viewing this video right here. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>